wasn't it? I bet you all enjoy that. <laughs> Eminem. The fake Eminem music has been superseded by Damien's band. Um, what did I just yeah, have the unfortunate... Royalty free. Um, the misfortune to witness. Oh, yeah, SD and Dane kissing nah. in the bedroom. Does she kiss him with his teeth in or teeth out? <laughs> oh. Yuck. Um, yuck. <laughs> um, for all the three kids, though. Um, what else have I got to say? So... Who do I want to win? Is this a final? Are they going into the final? There's got to be another eviction before the final, isn't there? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Pretty Boys have steamrolled this. That's made it really boring, to be honest. The twist mm -hmm. has really fallen flat. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Big Brother Canada. I love Arissa's enthusiasm. She's still the best host in the world. Correct. They're still the best-looking house in the world. Mm -hmm. But the casting has just been off for me for yeah. the last couple of years. And I hate that I'm almost crying out for the return of Ica because you can't wheel Ica it, out year after year. She's like our like Canada's Nikki Graham <laughs> but you know and they got Nikki Graham it too. just feels like they haven't matched that calibre no for the longest time yeah um, well, since they sent returning players back in, and yeah. I respect Big Brother Canada for not always sending returning players back in as America does, mm. but at the same time, need you need to find better new housemates, Canada. This mm. is not, not not very good. Um, so yeah, who's left? Um, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Anthony, I've not found entertaining whatsoever. I feel like he's sort of steamroll yeah. steamrolled everyone or believes he can steamroll at everyone's views and lead the pack of the pretty boys but he's not really in control at all uh, I would mm -hmm. hate to see him win but I don't think he's actually got the votes in the pretty boys to win mm -hmm. anyway I feel like the pretty boys would rather give it to Dane mm -hmm. now if Dane wins that for me is just like Tyler winning even though <laughs> Tyler didn't win but I feel like he is the Tyler mm -hmm. of this series um also, if Esty believed Dane was, like, loyal to her over the, more than the Pretty Boys, like, what a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> um, who else? Um, Kira. Wait, let's stick with the Pretty Boys. No, let's go Kira first. Kira has... I don't know, like... Kira was a relevant or an important housemate because it's good to have representation from the non... for the non-binary people. However, she... Oh, fuck, she, idiot. <laughs> they can't win a competition to save their life. Um, so, honestly, I don't think Kira stands a chance uh, in this final. Um, or, to, or, make, or, or a chance of making it to the final. Kira will probably be next into jury. Um, I wish that I could support Kira more, but I just haven't found them entertaining. Um, <laughs> well, who else? Who else? Uh, who's the last person? Adam. Do you know what? Adam, I think... I think Adam should win. Yeah. And I didn't think I'd be saying that a pretty boy should win come the end of this series. But he's been on a bit of a journey, I suppose, with his love story with Sam, his love interest mm. with Sam. But at the same time, he was quite spineless by not committing to her. Like, I kind of wish that he'd turned on the pretty boys. Do you know who I've completely forgotten? Mark. Mark. That says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, Adam probably is my winner. And I think... I can see it happening, although yeah. the Pretty Boys probably don't like his disloyalty with his like mm. um, affiliation to Sam. So actually, maybe not. <laughs> probably it's Dane that's got this, isn't it? Mm. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. sorry that I've not been able to make the podcast today. It's just been a ridiculously busy and stressful time for me. Uh, but I will be back to join Lindsay for the final of Big Brother Canada next week. And Lindsay, thank you so much for doing this by yourself. I certainly couldn't do it. It's bad enough leaving a voicemail on the street, um, <laughs> let alone talking to myself for two hours. <laughs> but you're a pro at that. So um, <laughs> thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at BB underscore superfan. And... Uh, read my book no i don't have a book yet yet yeah. i'm never gonna write a book <laughs> anyway that's five minutes bye oh bless him that was nice that was nice um he had nothing to say about mark even after he remembered him <laughs> um no uh, that was good i i suppose at the end i should say who i think i want to win and all that sort of shit i'll probably forget let me ask alfie about that whole flashlight thing here we go Alfie, you said um, I could ask you any questions. I'm just doing the podcast. And Gaz did a voicemail. And um, oh, this is recorded, by the way, not that you reply via voicemail. Um, you know, when Adam found that little torch in the cupboard in the filing cabinet, um, fire safety green folder number one? No, that was later. Um, was it just that Adam happened to be in there? Was it a fix? What did they want Adam to get? Was it a vote? Can you give us shed some light on that, please? Thanks. I'm gonna read your email in a second. Bye. 
Right. So, what have we got next? I've got some emails. I don't know why I sound out of breath. That's a bit boring. Uh, it was nice to hear from Gaz. I re- when he was talking about that, I really wanted to like talk to him about, like... Because I wanted to ask him about that bit in the far room. And I wanted to ask him what he thought of Marshall the Moose. I'll ask him next week at the finale. See what he says. Right. Look, I've got loads of emails. I've got an email from Lorcan, Laurie, Alfie, Luke. Oh, I've got two from Alfie because he fucked up the first one. Hold on. Let's read Lorcan's one first. Let's save Alfie's one till last because I think it'd be the best one. So this is from... Lorcan Murphy, you can follow him on Twitter, I forget what his username is, but just put in Lorcan Murphy. <clears throat> oh, God. So I called this vodka and cherry edits, made me gassy. BB Can 7, if you're nasty, might actually be the longest email of all time. Like, this is Melissa bot length, so apologies in advance. That's okay, we don't hear from her anymore. <laughs> hey, hookers. It's literally just hooker. That was my Jason Moy impression. Hope you liked it. Lorcan's watching uh, BBOTT at the moment. It feels so long since I last emailed. I feel like a different person. I've seen Austin Armacost bumhole. I've attended a protest. I even thought I saw Cam- Cameron Cole in Topshop. However, I was disproved. Perhaps it was that guy at Game of Thrones. See, I've changed completely since the last pod. But enough about my personal life. BBCan7, it's nice. Okay, I can't lie. Honestly, I'm so bored. It's just been pretty boy domination the whole time, and now we're still with Kira to root for. I mean, none of these people are likeable. Adam is annoying. If they wanted an Adam, they should have stuck a baller on, yeah, and been done with it. Or even Adam Pock. Oof. I'm sure they're available, I'll say. Unless a baller's doing another stretch. Dane needs to shave. Thank you. This weird rat stash he's got going on is awful. He's not doing his alliance name any favours. Anthony can fuck off too. And as for Mark, don't get me started on that absolute willy face. <laughs> At this point, they might as well just crown Arissa's baby straight from inside the womb because she, he, they've been the real star of the show this year. Preach. Something else that annoys me about this season, I'm full of complaints, is the fact that no one can shut up during speeches. That was in capital letters, that's why I shouted that bit. Like, someone will be trying to do a nomination ceremony. <laughs> trying to do a nomination ceremony. And someone else, probably Adam, will just start talking. It's true, actually. He's like, muttering away. I don't mean to sound like a teacher, like Corey, but can they stop talking? I don't know why, but that's just something that really grinds my gears. And usually I love talking. I'm all for it. I think it's just because they're always talking total shit. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, at this point, I may as well go back a couple of seasons and talk about BB Cam 5 because it's just more enjoyable. Truth. This email is going to be is gonna be so long. Jesus, we're about off or we were like nearly done. Uh <laughs> But oh well, Gaz isn't there. Just consider me a new co-host for a couple of minutes. I'd love to. Anytime. But yeah, wow, Ned is annoying, right? <laughs> she's just rude as fuck. Can't believe she was getting people to insult Cindy as they walk past. And she's the reason Gary and Cassandra left. What an absolute snake. Karen for the win, even though I might kind of know it's Kevin. Ha <laughs> ha, I can't possibly say. Don't worry, this email that I'm writing, well, it's more like a dissertation at this point, is not pointless. I've decided to ask some general questions to give it some flavour. Oh, God. Here we go. Chaka Khan, yay or nay? Chaka Khan. I honestly don't know. I don't, literally only know Chaka Khan. Um, how many house guests could Julie Chen Moonves chuck if Julie Chen Moonves could chuck house guests? It depends, really, if they were, like, Dane-sized or Adam-sized. What's an average-sized house guest? Um... Raven, no, she's too skinny. Say Whistlenut. Judy Chen, she's Chenbot, she's Bionic. I'll say three and a half. And one more. In your opinion, what is the number one best Big Brother moment of all time worldwide? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Hmm. Fucking hell, I should have read this email beforehand, shouldn't I? Um, some of them involve people winning and I don't really want to say because it's a spoiler if people haven't seen them um oh god I'm going to be such a cop out on this 
I need some more time. I'll come back to you on that next week. Me and Gaz will both answer that next week because I can't possibly still just be literally five minutes of dead air. Oh, also, have you seen this clip from Big Boss? Because if you haven't, then you haven't lived. I'll, I'll click on that and see how long it is. I'm very sorry because this seems very long and now I'm paranoid that I look like an airtime grabber. But you know me, once I pop, I just don't stop. <laughs> what the fuck am I on about? Anyway, much love to you. Thanks for keeping us all entertained, even when the twats in the house aren't. Lorca Murphy, two kisses. Let's have a look at this big boss clip, see how long it is. Oh, gee, there's going to be subtitles, aren't there? <laughs> I'm sorry, I kicked it by mistake. You can't kick it by mistake. You make it up if it bothers no, you. No, it you will make it up. You don't tell me what to do. I oh. can't tell you what you to do. You do not no, tell me what to do. There's been any you do so not tell me what to do. Sounds quite in a at someone. Are you going to hit me? Yeah. Do you want it? I don't want you it. asking for it. <laughs> this is it's good. I'm dying for it. <laughs> Get off my back. <laughs> got it? This has got 218,000 views. <laughs> Whoa! She just smashed a broom. <laughs> Is she going to hit her with it? <laughs> I want to watch this big bus. It looks good. Oh my god. Get off me. Mind your language. I don't want to talk. Mind your language. Hey, hey, hey. Why is it all women? <laughs> that makes me want to watch oh shit that makes me want to watch big boss a lot big boss is on like regular tv please can someone tell me gary when the new big boss starts because we've got to get into that it looks like some good shit all right hang on thanks for that Lorcan. that was a good email it wasn't too long it was just the right length just like Goldilocks's porridge. Right. Alfie has replied. Pretty sure Adam just found it. The start of it was on the feeds, and then I think he was called to the diary room, and then the feeds cut. Definitely no vote or anything. It's up to you how cynical you want to be about whether they wanted it to be Adam. Well, we'll be extremely cynical, young man. Laurie sent some feedback. Here we go. Hey, Lindsay. Important question first. Any word on Alfie getting a photo of Arissa in the Big Mother t-shirt? That was the perfect gift, wasn't it? Oh my god. I may have teared up a little listening to your last pod, but I'll deny it. Three cheers for Alfie. I don't know if Arissa has posted that. Alfie, let me know. As the season of BB Can is winding down to what I hope is a so- seismic... Is that seismic or seismic? Seismic finale. I've wondered what could have been. What if Damien had been in the first group instead of the vote putting him in the last group to enter? I think Damien could have been the new Mark. What if Laura had stayed after the first eviction? I think she would have gone the second eviction. What if Corey hadn't been voted in? Molly would have been, or whatever her name was. Holly. What was her name? Never mind. What if Kiki, or anyone other than Kira, actually fought tooth and nail for that blood veto? Well, I don't know. Kira would have saved... No, Kiki would have saved herself. Oh hell, who am I kidding? We'd still have the peanut butter PBs in the end, wouldn't we? PB and J. Who's the J? Kira must be the J. After the fees go down on Saturday, all I hope to see next week is the final three giving us a blood, sweat and tears brawl of comps, conniving and convincing to earn that coveted BB can crown. Even if I roll my eyes in unison with your viewing videos and wind, why? A few, few dozen times, I always say, any season of Big Brother is better than no Big Brother at all. But then I haven't watched BB UK 4 yet. Lol. Hugs and love and all that other mushy stuff. TTFN. Laurie. It's interesting the way the pretty boys, thanks that Laurie, are going. Because it was fun when they were kicking off at each other. But when they all started crying and cuddling each other, it's like, hmm, I don't want that. I want a bloodbath. Okay. I've now got an email from Luke. Luke Stammon. Here we go. I like Luke. I haven't heard from Luke in ages. Here we go. I know Luke is watching some old BB with Laura. Hi, Lindsay. It's Luke. I heard from Laura you're doing a solo pod Thursday. Hope I'm not sending this too late. No, you're right on time. This has been a very polarising season of BB Can. I totally understand why people have been comparing it to BB US 19. It's been pretty one-sided and the same few people have been in power almost all season. However, I find the pretty boys to be much more rootable. 
than whom? They've each, oh, level six. They've each 